In this Tech Tip video, we'll show you how to access your SMA Inverters smart screen. SMA Inverters with built-in Wi-Fi, rather than having a built-in physical display, have a smart screen which is accessible by any Wi-Fi enabled device. You do not need internet to access your Inverters smart screen. To access your Inverter smart screen, you'll first need to have Wi-Fi enabled device, such as a smartphone, tablet or laptop. Once you have your device, you're ready to connect to your smart screen. Open the section on your smart device where you're able to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You'll be looking for a Wi-Fi network in the form of SMA, followed by the serial number of the device you're trying to connect to. When you see it in the list, click it. To connect to your inverter's Wi-Fi network, you'll need to put in the WPA2-PSK password, which is unique to your inverter. This can be found on the type label on the side of the inverter or with the quick install guide that was delivered with your device. We're now connected to the inverter's Wi-Fi network. You'll notice that it says no internet. That's because the inverter is not an internet router. It's only broadcasting its own Wi-Fi signal. To access your inverter smart screen, open up a web browser. In the address bar, type the following address, 192.168.12.3. This will take you to the login page for your inverter's smart screen. Log on as a user. If this is the first time you're logging onto your inverter smart screen, you'll be asked to create a password. Make sure that it's something simple you, that you can remember. The password will be case sensitive. We've already set a password on this inverter, so we'll go ahead and input that now. We're now logged into our inverter smart screen. On the home page, you can get a quick overview of what's going on with your inverter, such as the device status, which might say, OK, or if there's a red light displayed on the front of your inverter, the device status here will show what the fault is that is causing the inverter not to function correctly. You can see the current power that your inverter is outputting displayed in watts. And if your site has an SMA energy meter as part of it, you can also see the current consumption of your house. In this instance, it's a small value, 114 watts. However, if a load is turned on, we can see that the current consumption for the entire house has increased. Further down, you can get information about yield and consumption from today, yesterday, and since the beginning of the installation, whether any feed-in management at the grid connection point is activated. And we can search by day, month, year, or since the beginning of the installation, information about the PV power generation and power consumption. Finally, at the bottom, we can get some quick information about the network connectivity of our inverter with the Ethernet IP address indicating the inverter is connected via an Ethernet cable to an internet router and the WLAN IP address indicating that the inverter is connected via Wi-Fi to a local Wi-Fi network. If we see the menu in the top right hand corner, there are a number of options available such as instantaneous values where you're able to see the instantaneous DC and AC values of the inverter, device parameters, where we can change some aspects of the inverter, such as the Wi-Fi network that it might be connected to, the events menu, where we can search for information, warning and errors, which may have occurred with the inverter, the device configuration menu, where we can see information about the inverter, other devices in the network, such as an SMA energy meter, and where we can upload new firmware if desired. And finally, the user settings where we can log out of our inverter smart screen. We hope this tech tip video has given you a quick oversight into how to use your SMA inverter smart screen and obtain information about the status of your inverter. Thanks for watching.